Hey campers, you might be wondering what's on my head. This is my flower crown and you are gonna get to make one of these too. And it has flowers all over it, but it's also mathematical because this is data about me and yours is going to be data about you. All right, let's get started. So I am going to show you how to make your flower crown. This is a really beautiful project and the great thing about it is, is that it's all about you. So in your notebook, you'll see that there's this flower crown glyph. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at all of these questions and figure out what about you applies to these questions. And then you'll use those answers to determine how many flowers and leaves you're gonna make. So the first question is, how old are you? You're gonna make the number of leaves for your age. And what you can do is just fold your paper in half. If you are seven, you would make seven of these. And I'm gonna make like a C. Do you see how I made the letter C there? That's gonna help us make our leaves. And you can cut right down the middle. And when it opens up, you'll have two leaves, one there, and one there like that and there you'll see you have two leaves you'll have to do this a lot more and because i've now made leaves in the middle of my paper you can fold over another part just like that make your c's and you'll keep going i'm gonna pretend i'm seven years old and i have now cut out seven leaves that means that anyone looking at my flower crown will know that I am seven. The next question on my list says, do you have siblings? If you have sisters, you're gonna create a lavender flower for each sister and a blue flower for your brother if you have one. For any brothers, you'll make a blue flower. And if you are an only child, you get a yellow flower just for you. I am going to pretend that I have one brother and one sister. You wouldn't believe this, but I actually have five sisters and three brothers in real life. So just like I did for my leaves, I'm gonna make a big C on here and cut it out and when I open it up I'll have a circle that will become a blue flower for a brother this will become a lavender flower for my sister and then you'll open this one up and that will be my lavender flower the next question says, do you have pets? If yes, you get a pink flower. And if no, you get a magenta flower. I do not, oh, I have a fish. I have a fish. I was gonna say I don't have any cats or dogs, but we have a fish at our house. So I get a pink flower and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna draw my C, that's the letter C. And then I'm going to cut it out. And now I have what will soon become a pink flower. Let's see, the next question, have you been to Girls Rock Math before? If you have been to Girls Rock Math, you're gonna do a red flower. And if you have not been to Girls Rock Math, you'll do an orange flower. I've been to Girls Rock Math lots of times. So I'm gonna fold it make my C and cut out my red flower. And the last question is, what grade are you in? If you are going to be going into second grade in the fall, you get to make two white flowers. And if you're going into third grade, you're gonna make three white flowers. I'm going to pretend I'm in second grade. And for this, I'm actually gonna keep them right on top of each other and make it easy for myself so I don't have to cut twice. And I put them right on top of each other. Do you see how I did that? 
I layered them and folded them together and then drew my seeds. And now I'm gonna cut out my C just like this to be in second grade and now I have all my flowers. Now you might be thinking to yourself, these do not look like flowers at all. They don't, they look kind of more like circles than anything. But you have a very special sheet of circle stickers. And what you're going to do is you're gonna pick whatever circle sticker you want for the middle of each of your flowers. Now, if you're someone like me, and say you have five sisters, and you used a whole lot of paper, you won't have enough stickers, because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers. If that happened to you, you can take a scrap of paper just like this, and make a tiny C, and make your own little circle that can be glued on. So if you find that you don't have enough stickers or you want to do something different, you can make your own little tiny circle for the middle of your flower. But we're not going to do that right now. You're going to pick whatever color you want for the middle of your flowers. I'll do yellow and red together. And how about pink and purple together? Um, white and pink. a white and a blue, orange and blue, and then red and lavender. So here I have, now they're looking a little more like flowers, aren't they? What you're going to do when you make these flowers is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna do a snip almost to the sticker. And you're just gonna go around, around, and around just like that and it might not look like a flower yet but if you keep snipping just like this it will eventually look like a flower and you can kind of bend it a little and it becomes more and more flower like so I've got one and then you're just going to keep doing this for every flower that you created I'm gonna snip and snip all the way around the circle without ever coming all the way to the middle, just like that. So once you've finished your flowers, you're going to make your crown. And this is what your long green strip of paper is for and your glue stick. So at this point, you can just decide where do you want the flowers to go. You can lay them out do a little dab of glue right in that middle part where the sticker is like that and glue it down. I like kind of putting them close together so they overlap a little. If you find out you don't have enough room to fit all of them on, don't worry because you have another strip and that'll come in handy in a minute. But for this one, I think I'm gonna try to squeeze them all together right on here, like that. So there's the front of my crown. Add your leaves, that shows that you are, and I'm pretending to be seven years old, so you can put your leaves anywhere you want on here. Just have them sticking out any which way. I'm gonna keep mine on the top, because this is actually going to be the bottom of my crown that's on my face, and I don't want leaves going into my face. All right, so here we go. Here's my crown. I'll bend it around, and this is where you might need the help from a friend or a grown-up or a sibling, is that I think that this crown will not fit on my head. And that's where you can take this piece and get it measured on your head, just like that. And once you know how long it needs to be, your sibling or your parent can help you cut it. So now I've got a shorter piece here. And then using either tape or a stapler, you can just make sure that's nice and secure on there. And tape it down so it fits your head. And there you have your beautiful flower crown. And it's a special one because it teaches us all about you, what grade you're in, how many brothers and sisters you have, what kind of pets you might have. All of that information is right here.